Hey, this is Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com, and this is a brief tutorial on how to use IOBIT Game Booster, a utility designed for gamers to remove background services, processes, defragment your RAM, and much more so that your games can run fast. It is designed to be a one-click utility, however, it's so much more. It's literally a gamer's toolbox. Uh, we'll cover the basics real quick because you really don't need to do much more. If you just want to try and speed up your game, you can simply hit click to boost and it takes a matter of seconds. It stops services, stopped apps, and defragmented some RAM. It'll automatically minimize to the tray and then you can play your game. Now when you're done playing your game, you can simply come back and click to restore again a few seconds. Nothing has changed in the background. I think you'll love it. Now, as I mentioned, it's much more of a toolbox and it is just a simple one-click tool. It's going to cover a lot of things that are going to make sure your games run well. Under this Game Drivers tab, as you can see, my Realtek High Def Audio is out of date at least one or two versions. So by simply clicking Go to Download page, your browser window will open up, take you to the Realtek page. You can download the latest drivers. Uh, if you're a gamer, you probably are well aware your games are going to run better if you have the latest drivers. It's not at all uncommon to see video drivers make specific tweaks to specific games. Let's carry on to the game essentials. So far all I see here is chat programs. I happen to use Ventrilo myself. Uh, same with TeamSpeak, same with XFire. These are great for if you've got a clan or a guild and you, or you just want to play with a couple of buddies online. You can communicate and talk to each other about what you're doing. And all you have to do here is decide which one you want and click here to download. Game Defrag is an awesome little feature because a guy like me, I keep my games on a separate drive. This means that I primarily defragment my most used drive, my C drive, and I skip my D drive. But either way, it, it detects what games you have, or you can click here to select the game directory if it didn't detect your game. And you can simply sit here, click here to analyze. It'll take a look just like any defragmenting tool will do, tell you how many files you have, how many fragments you have, and what needs defragmentation. This is a great feature right here, especially if you're in a weird situation like mine. You simply click the defrag and you're off. Now we got the system tweaks. We should mention Game Booster here is totally free and for only $9.99, I only say that because I think it's a fair price, looking at top performance is going to tell you that it's going to do that to Game Booster Premium only. You're also going to get a better service detection and clean up more because Game Booster is pretty conservative where it is now. I think it would work for many people, but it tends to be a tad conservative. But then again, you're not resizing windows when you're done and all this other stuff that a lot of other ones make you do. Um, you can also get free technical support, automatic updates, and more. If you love the program, it's well worth it. Game Tools is basically just a shortcut to use things on your control panel, not counting advanced system clear. That is another one of their all-in-one tools. It's a drive cleaner, registry cleaner. You just simply click that, it opens your browser, and you're there. Again, the mouse, as you can see, it takes you to your control panel mouse, and you can change your pointer speed. You can change all the stuff you normally would change with your mouse. That's great to do if you're having a problem in a game for real quick access. Same applies to the keyboard, stuff you guys have all probably seen before. Game controllers, computer speeds is the performance tab under control panel, which you've seen, and there's some information if you're a little bit of a novice, and, you know, improving your computer's performance, etc. And disk cleanup, adjust your power settings, etc. And finally, you have the options tab. Minimize the tray when it's closed. Auto minimize. This is all set. You might want to start at Windows if you're going to use it a lot. And you can edit your own service list as well if you want. Much more advanced users there. Download path where it would download. You might want to change that unless you don't mind digging around into the IOBit Game Booster download path folder. Game box that I hadn't shown you yet. Let me show you this real quick. This is sitting over here in the bottom right corner. And if you know where your game is, you simply start up your Windows Explorer or find your game so you can get yourself a shortcut. Here's my World of Warcraft. And the wow.exe is the executable. Let's bring it over here. Let it go. There it is. Now what that does is it creates a shortcut to all your favorite games. So all I have to do now is click on that in the game box. It's going to start World of Warcraft for me after it's optimized the game for me. And also, as you can see in the options behind us, it will automatically go back to normal mode after closing the games. It's a real simple. It literally takes it back to one click. Update. Check for updates when the program starts. Absolutely do this. Uh, game boosters come a long way. You're going to want to be on the next update. And, of course, an ignore list if you want game booster to ignore a certain couple of games for you. And that about wraps it up for me. I think you'll dig this. It's totally free in its basic mode. So check it out and we'll see you next time. Thanks.